Good morning, everyone. This is Mike Moneypenny from the National Weather Service office in Raleigh, and we're here with our July 9th through the 16th weekly briefing. Rather uneventful week coming up, as you will see. All right, to start with, we have high pressure over us, beautiful sunny skies over most of the state today. High temperatures a little bit below normal in the upper 80s for maximums. A lot of areas will be in the mid 80s. This will be the case tomorrow with sunny skies and starting to warm up a little bit. But we do have a cool front, as you'll note on uh, your screen there, on the upper right hand side. We have a cold front that's going to be coming down out of the Ohio Valley, pushing through, perhaps producing just a few showers and some thunderstorms later on Wednesday and into Wednesday night. Temperatures on Wednesday will be warming up into the uh, at least the low 90s ahead of this front. And then as it comes through, uh, we'll be a little bit cooler as we get into uh, Thursday. And then uh, Friday commences a new warm-up into the weekend where we'll be reaching temperatures back into the low and the mid-90s. Thunderstorm potential, we don't really have any for the next two days. This high pressure is capping everything off and we're quite dry. And then as that front comes through on the lower left-hand side there, well, this is Wednesday, you can see that we will have a, just a marginal chance for showers and thunderstorms, but nothing of the severe variety, just uh, normal thunderstorm activity. And that will be pretty much the case, uh, or the only thing that we'll have all the way through the uh, seven-day period. Precipitation-wise, as that front comes through, uh, some areas in the east may see a quarter of an inch or more, but for the most part, you'll be lucky if you see that much. And then uh, once that front comes through, we'll have some isolated shower and thunderstorms as we start to heat up coming into the weekend. But that will be mostly over in the mountains, along the slopes, and uh, along the coast with the sea breeze. So central North Carolina will be pretty much dry Saturday and Sunday as well. And to talk a little bit about Chris, Chris is off the uh, Carolina coast, not going to be a player in our weather except uh, right along the immediate coast. We'll see some high cloudiness, perhaps from the outer bands. Chris is expected to become a hurricane over the next 24 to 36 hours, but it will be lifting uh, to the north and then pulling offshore rather rapidly as it accelerates up into the uh, North Atlantic on Wednesday, as you can see here. So it's going to meander in place for 24 hours or so and then begin to kick out. So central North Carolina, maybe some wispy high cloudiness, but that's about the extent of it. And looking ahead into next week, as I mentioned, temperatures are going to be starting to shoot back up as we head into the weekend and see that trend continue on into the middle part of next week at least with a northwest flow with a big ridge sitting up over the Midwest. So what that will do, that northwest flow will direct uh, shower and thunderstorm activity out of the Ohio Valley. And you can see that in the 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook on the right here, whereas the uh, activity is coming in out of the northwest and out of the Ohio Valley. And it gives us a little bit better chance of above normal precipitation for the uh, 8 to 14 day period. So in summary, we don't really have any uh, weather of any impact to speak of for the next week. Temperatures will be a little bit below normal today, but then uh, for the most part, we're going to be averaging above normal. And as we get into the weekend, temperatures will starting to be starting to go up to 3 to 5 degrees above normal for this time of year, which is around 90 degrees. So I want to thank you all for attending the webinar today, and uh, stay tuned for next week.